Your thunderstorm warning in effect until 530 here for Central and Eastern Shawano County. As we zoom in here just a little bit closer, you can see this severe thunderstorm here across Central and Eastern Shawano County. The most intense part of the storm right now is right along Highway 29 near the Bondowell area. Everything is sliding off towards the south and east at around 25 miles per hour. If this storm can hold together, it'll be moving into the Green Bay area in about a half an hour to 45 minutes. The main threats from this storm, damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. Hour. Also, hail up to half dollar size. You can see we've kind of lost the hook echo that we had about 15 minutes ago, but there is still some rotation within this storm, and I will be watching it very closely. Severe thunderstorms, especially in this case, can produce damaging winds, large hail, and deadly lightning. If you are in the path of the storm, central eastern Shawano County, move to an interior room on the lowest level of your home. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows all the heavy rain so far today. North and east of Green Bay, Washington Island picking up about four inches of rain since yesterday from some heavy thunderstorms. But now you can see a line of thunderstorms developing just north and west of the Green Bay area. Everything is moving south and east towards Green Bay, and there is a slight risk for severe weather across east central. Wisconsin as we move deeper into the evening. Once again, with any thunderstorms that develop, we could be looking at damaging winds, large hail, deadly lightning, heavy rain, and tornadoes can develop with little or no advance warning. Here's a look out of our live Green Bay Tower cam towards that thunderstorm as it approaches from the north and west. Skies are looking threatening. There's a lot of haze in the air. In Appleton right now, the anvil from those thunderstorms pushing in from the north. The big story today. Really not the severe weather so far. It's been the heat and the humidity. The heat wave continued today. Look at these highs. Watoma up to 98, Wapaka 97. We had 94 in Sheboygan, 93 in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac, 91 in Appleton. In Chilton, the high temperature was 90 degrees. We've been watching a backdoor cold front kind of working back to the south and west here during the last couple of hours. The temperature in Green Bay dropped 10 degrees in one hour as that front moved through. South and west of that front, kind of right along where those thunderstorms are developing, it is still hot and humid with temperatures ranging from the lower 90s to the the upper 90s. Dew points in the 60s and 70s. It is very muggy out there. The dew point in Green Bay right now sitting at 74. You can see those heat index values over 100 degrees. It feels like 106 in Watoma. Right now in Oshkosh, it feels like 101 degrees. We have heat advisories here for Sheboygan, Fond du Lac, Green Lake, and Marquette counties up until 8 o'clock, but really those heat advisories could be another uh, county row north as well. Cold front moving through this evening. That'll bring some changes, not some big Big changes, but some changes. We are going to cool down and it'll be a little less humid. Tonight, PM storms, some could be severe. Later on tonight, areas of fog developing, lows in the mid 60s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, cooler and less humid. It's still going to be humid, it's just not quite as bad as what we saw today. On Thursday, sunshine giving way to sun and clouds, mid 80s. A good chance for thunderstorms on Friday as some uh, more excessive heat and humidity tries to push back in here. Chance for a thunderstorm on Saturday, highs around 90. Maybe a shower or a thunderstorm on Sunday ahead of a cold front. And then behind that cold front, breezy and turning much cooler for Labor Day and next Tuesday. High temperatures will only be in the lower to mid 70s. Lows by Tuesday morning will be around 50 degrees. So cooler weather the next couple of days. All in all, the heat wave will continue into the weekend and we'll be watching the threat for severe weather this evening across the area. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, Cameron. Okay. We have important information for Time Warner subscribers who are interested in requesting a re